By this point in the game, Kasparov's assault has caused deep thought to mark time, looking in vain for a counterattack. Murray, can you just explain how resignation takes place? Uh, I say, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> we discussed before the game, when the evaluation function got below a certain level, we would resign, and it hasn't gotten below that level yet. So what is that level? But it has, it was 700 points, which was, a pawn is 128 points, so that's about four pawns. And then, after 52 moves, it was over. Rook to E2 by Gary Kasparov, and in this position, the computer admits defeat. I think there's always the man, there's a man versus machine element involved, because even at the beginning of history, people has always had fascination of creating his own equal, and this sort of and a step toward a dream. Of course, it's a failed step, but <laughs> it's interesting anyway. After two and a half hours, Kasparov had prevailed but it was like no other game he had ever played. Should I explain something to him? Yes. yes. Okay, I did it well. Yes. yes. Before the first game, I was a little bit worried because uh, uh, playing uh, versus human being, I have my opponent opposite me, and uh, it's, it's kind of uh, energy goes between us. But today, there's no human being and uh, there was no energy, it's kind of black hole. But I, I, I discovered a new source of energy because I played against computer and the audience, it's just human beings. Everybody w wanted to really to crash the computer because we all have, we have something in common, we're human being and thanks very much for this enormous energy supply. <laughs> You know, people felt vindicated today, it seemed to me. We, humanity, had a common, uh, had a common triumph. The computer people, of course, are always saying that, uh, you know, that their triumph is a triumph for humanity as well, and that isn't this, you know, this is one more reflection of uh, all the things that we, you know, are, are capable of and are, what, what we can create. But we, we don't emotionally feel that way. I mean, we, we root for the lone... The lone Kasparov here. For many, the unthinkable had been avoided. For others, what lay ahead was the inevitable. Back at his drawing board, Sue is working on what he calls the ultimate chess machine. One that by running a thousand chips in parallel will look at a billion moves a second and become champion of all the world. So once you can look at a billion board positions a second, you've got it. That's the way I figure, yeah. But is it just a matter of time before Kasparov is defeated by Deep Thought or by Deep Thought's successor? I think so. A matter of not very long time. Yes. In, in, in the forever future, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, something that a three-year-old will hold in their hand will beat the world champion. There's no doubt about that. It's inevitable. The, the machines are getting faster and faster, and humans are staying more or less the same. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Many have said that Kasparov is the last human world champion. I don't know. We shall see when I lose my, my, my challenge. Because it, it will happen once, I don't know when, but it will happen. And then I understand that's the limit. Right now, there is no limit because I can win any challenge. And I have no doubt I didn't use my 100% capability. Not yet. It wasn't necessary. And probably that's, that's, that's a great pity for me, yes. I want to, once I want to, 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 to use it fully. And for, right now, for me, I think it's the only chance is to, to face the computer with one billion operation a second. Within five years, I... I will show my, my real chess, what real I can do at the chessboard. 
That's how it started in the first place, as a way to find out what man and machine could do at the chessboard, to find out more about computers and about ourselves. After all, when we get through with the mind, we will go back to how humans can feel. So machines, in fact, can't feel sad. They can't feel empathetic. You know, they can't feel uh, sort of joyous and smile. They can't feel good when they get up. They can't feel depressed. So it turns out that those will be the real human things. And you can have your ability to think that will sort of pass in the night as the key thing. So it's only, it's only now that the key is sort of on the intellectual activities that we think that's all important. And maybe after three rounds, or maybe then more than three rounds of this, uh, we might rethink the whole situation and say, maybe the important thing isn't our uniqueness at all. Maybe the important thing is that we sit on this little pale blue globe, at least that's the way it looks from space, along with all the other creatures and the plants, and that's where we're going to live for a long time, and we better learn not how to be unique, we better learn how to live with the rest of nature, to be a part of nature. The first game of chess was played to test the limits of the machine. Now it's the machine that may be testing the limits of man. We uh, human beings don't really understand ourselves. So I put a very high priority on getting a deeper understanding of human beings, including our thought processes. And I see the computers as having helped us and helping us toward that goal. No, oh, I, I don't think it's important whether computers can beat people or people can beat computers in chess any more than I think it's important whether racehorses can beat marathon runners or marathon runners can beat racehorses. That isn't what human race is all about. Uh, but I do think that it's terribly important that we get a deeper understanding of ourselves. And if computers can help us do it, which I think they can, obviously, then we ought to be using them to do it. We have some perspective in the future, not only computers. We can find something, we can create something new beyond the computer's ability, computer's imagination, let's say. And uh, that the human being is able to resist this artificial mind uh, very successfully. I mean, how will you feel if someday you do lose to a computer? single game or the match. Funding for no...